Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Papaw's Projects. Today we are going to learn how to build a corner bracket for the large 3D printer build in Fusion 360. So stick around. Okay, so this morning we are going to continue on with the 3D printer build and we are going to design a top corner for the aluminum extrusions and we're going to continue on from uh, some of the processes we learned on the foot that we built in the last video. So before we get started, I do want to ask if you wouldn't mind, please take the time to subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to receive notifications ring that bell and then anytime I upload new content you'll be notified it really helps the channel grow and I appreciate it very much that being said let's move on and we will uh, start on the project let me share my screen here and open up fusion 360 <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry I'm still sick but on the on the mend getting better so we're gonna go straight up top view there all right so what I'm looking at is I want to build a corner bracket to fit the aluminum extrusion in this profile just like we did on the foot so this should be a pretty straightforward simple little project I'm going to do it just like before I'm going to start with a sketch, a piece of paper, and just imagine how I would draw it out, and then go with the known numbers that we've already established. I'm going to draw a circle from a center radius point, and I'm going to set that radius point on the center origin of the page, and I'm going to drag it out. Once I've drug it out a little bit, then I can type in that I want it 41 millimeters and then I'm gonna slide this around just so the numbers don't all jumble up a little bit and save it okay so there's our inner diameter of our corner bracket now we are going to give it a shell so I'm going to go back and give it another circle again center everything from the origin point drag it out and make this one 46 and I'm going to drag these numbers here. Okay, so there is our shell. Now, the next thing I need to do is, you know what, I wish I would not have put those there. But that's okay. Let me zoom in a little bit. And drag it over here and zoom in a little more. Okay. Now we are going to we are going to draw a line and basically the same thing we did with the foot. The only difference will come after we establish the profile here. So I want to come over one, two, three and get on this arc. Let me zoom in a little more. So one, two, three and on the arc. Did I lose it? line right there and I want to come up five boxes I got room for six so in reality as you can see there we're only about five and a quarter boxes and over six and then back down and there's my lug Okay, now let me uh, escape and drag this over here where we can see this side. And let's see. I need to do the exact same thing. I'm going to put a line. And I'm going to come over three and down to the ring. Start. I'm going to come up five full boxes that's four five one two five 
I want to come over six and back down to the ring. Okay. Now if I zoom out, they should be the same. I think I came up short here. I did. I did come up short here. I only went four boxes. Why didn't you guys tell me that? <clears throat> All right. So I'm just going to back up. It was too easy to do, so I'm just going to back up. Do that one again. All right, let me zoom back in here. Let's try and do it right this time. I'm still learning. I'm a newbie to it, so draw a line. I'm going to come over three, one, two, three, on the ring. Click. There's two, three, four. There's five, about five and a quarter. There should be six and back. Okay. That's better. Now let me see if I can drag it. Looks like I'm still in the line tool. Maybe I don't have to click it again. So we're going to go here. Yeah, we're looking good. There. Over six. Back to the ring. All right. Now I should have my two lugs. Okay. So... Now, let's see. This one's going to be slightly different because the back wall is not going to be four millimeters thick. Because I'm going to make a corner bracket, I need to plan ahead. So let me escape out of that tool. And I'm going to select this. And I'm just kind of making this up as I go, so we'll see how it turns out. I think I want to extrude this enough to cover the width of the elbow. So let's say 46 millimeters. All right. And that's pretty thick. Okay, this is going to be the actual corner piece. So now I'm going to turn off the bodies. Make sure my sketch is turned on so I can see. So this has been extruded 46 millimeters. I'm going to extrude this and these lugs uh, 46 plus probably another 40. So I'm going to extrude those 86 millimeters. Let's give that a shot. Okay, now hopefully when I turn the bodies back on, I'll have the shape I'm looking for. Okay. Looks like it. That's kind of what I was looking for. Okay. Now. So, that's the first that's the first side of my elbow. And then I need it to go 90 degrees. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this body. I have two bodies there. One body and two bodies. Alright, before I go any farther, let me see if I probably need to join these. So I'm going to select them both, modify, combine. Combined, I have the two bodies selected. It's set to join. Click OK. I should have one body. And I do. Okay. I apologize. I'm Still getting over a bad, bad cold. It's had me down for days. Okay. So, now let's take a look at it from the side view. And let's back out a little bit so we can see. Alright, now if I take this body... And let me try to remember. Right click, copy. Click create a copy. <clears throat> and then rotate it. Ninety degrees. Right here. 
and then move it 46 should get us exactly where we want okay so and enter let's lock that in so now we should have our L bracket got our lugs 40 millimeters deep this one's got 40 millimeters deep I think we're looking good that is a functional part um, I could join it right like it is and print it and it should work but I don't like I don't like this this doesn't look I don't know it just doesn't look right it's functional but I don't like the looks of it so let's see what do I want to do with this um, if I put a bevel on there that would come that would make it just have bumps it would be better than what it is um, let me see what tools I have modify chamfer that would take some of the edge off I'll combine them after a bit da -da 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 -da. let's see what this press pull thing does let's click on there you click right here if I click right here it gives me an arrow okay so if I push that arrow no, nope. I only got one of them. Let me see if I can select both rings. Shift. Now let's see what it does. Okay, so it's starting to round out. Oh, that's good. Now it's just got a tumor. Oh, something happened. All right, let's try that again. Oops. Boy, there's a, there it is. There it is. I saw it. There's just, a, it's touchy. and we'll let it go 23 millimeters 23 millimeters that makes sense that's half of the 46 diameter so I would say that's a good number I would say that's the best I can do with that tool I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna lock that in okay now let's uh, take a look at it a little more I like that let's look on from the side that looks good that looks good that looks good I think I think we're in business people what do you think and that was man that was easy as pie uh oh then get squirrely on me I want to move there we go. okay what am I looking at there is one slot two slot let me make sure I got my Got my lugs in the right orientation for my extrusion. This is my top. So yeah, it's gonna be like that. I don't want the lugs like that. Okay, I think we got her. Think we got her. All right, let me go back here. I'm all, look at that, the whole world's upside down right now. Let's see here, how do I need to, I'm just gonna drag this around. There's the top, let's go that way. I think that's how I started out. This is the top view. Alright, so there is my corner brackets. That was pretty easy. It helped out a ton that I already knew the diameter of my extrusion and my clearance. I knew my clearance was going to work because of making the feet the other day. So I don't see any reason why this one wouldn't work at all. And you can see kind of see that this is hollow all the way well it should be hollow down to here and then solid this whole corner should all be solid material now do I need to oh almost forgot I need to join this into one piece so let's go one shift and select the other modify combine both items are selected. I want to join it. I do not want a new component and I do not want to keep the pieces as a separate item. 
Click OK. Now I should have one tool or one body, and let's change the name. Corner bracket. Close enough. It's more like a connector than a bracket, but corner bracket. There we go. Okay, so got to use a new tool, that push pull thing. I'm gonna have to play with that. Maybe I have to do some reading up on it, see what all it'll do, but that did exactly what I wanted. So it turned out good. Um, I have a part printing right now um, that I was working on last night on Twitch for my motor mount. I'm testing the clearances and stuff on my motor mount, but as soon as this motor mount finishes, I will pop this up on the printer and print it out and bring it back on here and show you. I'll just I'll stop the video and then print it and then like I did before I'll add the the new video to the back of this one so it's all in one place. I know in the beginning and what I was doing was doing my practical prints and I, we would design it and then I'd shut the video off and close it out and publish it and then in the next video I'd show you how it turned out but it seemed inconvenient because some people might not have got to come back and see it or some people that got to see it didn't get to see us make it so I think I'm gonna do it this way from now on I'll just stop the video at least for the YouTube videos I can't do that for the live streams over on Twitch but for here I can do this and uh, I'll just put it on the end that way you get to see the design and then you'll get to see the finished product all in one video so Hang on just a second and let me bounce back to the overlay screen. But I think that turned out well. Uh, I kind of expected it to after working the bugs out with the feet. Um, so I will pause this here and I'll be back in a few hours and show you how it turned out. So be right back all right and here we are back the print is finished and looks pretty good got our lugs in there everything turned out pretty nice nice surface got a little bit of roughness here on the back where the uh, where the uh, support material was I printed it flat like this so but it turned out pretty well now the big question is will it fit so I got a couple scrap pieces of my extrusion here and we get those lugs lined up nice tight fit and there we are and there is the top corners to my large 3d printer design designed and one printed I gotta print another one but it worked out well it was a success I love it so there we go one more piece of the puzzle made the next one is on to the motor mounts which I've started working on on my live stream on Twitch so if you want to see how that one's going check me out over there um, I'm gonna bounce back and forth between the two and uh, see how it goes so this one here turned out wonderful um, getting very close get the motor mounts and a couple other brackets made and I'll be ready to start getting everything assembled. So that's all I have for today. I certainly thank you all for joining me and following along as we build this thing. I appreciate it. And hopefully we are learning some new things in Fusion and making progress there. And it's working out well. So I will say again before I sign off, 
please do me a favor and uh, click that subscribe button and if you want to receive notifications anytime I upload new content just ring that bell and you will be notified and uh, don't forget to check me out over on Twitch on my live streams you can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook so I'm all over the place it's Papaw's projects everywhere pretty much so Hope to hear from you and hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching and everyone have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.